Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Well, today is Sunday the 28th. It's a day I don't normally do a reading, but I've had a spirit with me all morning just keep saying, Daddy's little girl. Daddy's, tell her Daddy's little girl. So I don't know who you are, and I hope this does reach you, but this is for you, Daddy's little girl. Okay, it's because they said you need a reading. So, Daddy's little girl, whoever this is, please, can you reach them? It might be more than one of you. Might not just be one, but I either feel that you just got married, or you're about to get married. Because they want you to know that they will be there at the wedding. Don't worry. And they will walk you down the aisle. Do not worry. They will be walking you down the aisle. Okay. Okay. But I feel they're also saying that you didn't think they would ever be able to walk you down the aisle. But they will be. Okay. Right, at the bottom you've got the tennis sword, which <laughs> you're just, there's something you're going, nope, nope, I'm not having that. Nope, I will not accept it. Okay. And then you've got the Three of Coins, which is you working together with someone. But there's also a celebration. Okay, there's also going to be a celebration. Well, if you're getting married, there's your celebration. And then you've got the Ace of Swords, which is a new beginning. I really don't like this card. I don't know why. I just can't bring myself to see this. But it's a new spiritual beginning, okay? Well, they just said it. It's a new spiritual beginning for you. Oh, and there's the lover. So, yeah, you are marrying the right person. Okay, you are marrying the right person. And there's your, there's your celebration in your party. Wow, look at that, guys. And you saw me shuffle. You did see me shuffle. Okay. <laughs> Whoever you you are, this is for you. This is a very important reading, this is. I don't know why. It's just they're saying it's for someone. Who, whether you don't believe or... But guys, if you know anyone who's getting married, please make sure you share this with them. Because I, it's something that's important for them to know. I don't know why. I suppose it's all important for us girls to know our daddy's going to be at the wedding, you know? Right. And you've got the Ace of Swords there again. So it is a new beginning. Let me put my glasses on. Let's just read this. I'm going to make sure I read everything near enough so that you guys help. Let's have a look. Right. Brilliant ideas that may need refinement. Overcome obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Communicate clearly and consist con con consistently, con well, whatever that word is. Remain objective. Okay, but there is a new beginning there for you guys. Just make sure you communicate clearly. Right. Oh, my goodness. Now you've got the Ace of Cups as well. How awesome. Wow. Two Aces together. That is awesome. Okay. That's a new emotional beginning. Wow. Then you've got the world, which means, you know, brilliant success, a time of joy. 
And it is. It's going to be a time of joy for you today. If it's today. Do they get married on Sundays? I don't know anymore. Okay, but something's going to happen fast. You're being overwhelmed with everything going on. You're overwhelmed at the moment. Oh, my God, another ace. Wow, guys. That's three aces together. I see eights of coins. You know you've got abundance. You know that. You've got a lot of abundance. And then you've got the Knight of Cups. Thank you, Summer. Right, which is romance. And he is the most romantic. This is, to me, the most romantic card in the thing. Because he's you're that's going into your future. You're hurrying up into the future. You're getting married, girl. And then you've got the Nine of Cups, okay? And that's wishes coming true. You wanted to marry this person. And then you've got the Four of Swords. Well, yeah, you're going to need time to rest after this. You will need time to rest. You're going to be tired, girl. You will be tired. Move them over a bit. Yeah, that's a bit better. Right, then you've got the King of Coins. Okay, I, I do feel that you're going to feel so great. And you know you've now got financial security in your life. You've got a lot. You've got the, an amazing person in your life. Okay, and you've got what beautiful read. Right? You've got everything planned for long term. Everything's going to be perfect for you. The High Priestess. What's that say? You guys start developing your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom you receive. All right? Trust in this reading. Trust in this reading, guys. I feel that's what you're being told. You got to trust in this reading. And then you got the imprint. Oh, you could be pregnant, or you will be. That'd be good. Well, there's a birth of an idea. Okay, then you've got the nine of wands, right? Protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. Environmental activists. Activism. And animal rights. Just protect what you've got. Okay, then you've got the Three of Cups, which is, you know, celebrating, like I said earlier on. Like I've said lots of times. The Dream of the Fool, right? It's a new start for you. It's a lovely new start for you. And you've got the Emperor. Okay. Organising. Take charge of the situation. Take charge of the situation. Right, so here you've got the three of coins, okay, which is working together with people, okay? Then you've got the Ace of Swords, which is a new beginning. Then you've got the Ace of Coins, which is another new beginning. But this one's financial, okay? And that one, you, you, I just feel it's... I know what I want to say, but I can't say it. Well, new ideas. We'll put it that way. Then you've got the King of Coins, which tells me you are going to be, right, financially secure. But you got to guard it. Okay, just remember, always remember, you got to guard it, okay? 
Then you've got the Ace of Swords, which is the same as that one, the Ace of Swords. Okay. Then you've got the Ace of Cups, which is telling me you've got a new emotional beginning. Well, and you've got the Romance card here. So you are marrying the right person. And it's going to be a, a total... What's the word? Like, I want to say Romeo and Juliet. You know, it, it's going to be beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, and then you've got the, the Three of Wands, which is celebrating, and you're celebrating here too. So, you know, there's lots of celebrating coming on. Then you've got the world, well, you've got the lovers and the world, which... This could be your second marriage, okay? This could be your second marriage, second time around. But if it is your second marriage, you are doing the right thing, okay? You've got the Nine of Cups, which is celebrating again, but you've also got the High Priestess, which is... Normally I'd say it's a secret or a lie, but no, not in this instance. In this instance, it's a new... Uh, it's not emotional beginning, I want to say. It's spiritual awakening. It's a spirit. There's something very spiritual about this marriage, about this relationship. It's very spiritual. And you're being told, do not hesitate in marrying this person because he is the one. Okay? You've got the celebration there. And I feel this marriage might have happened very fast. It's happened really fast. But then you got, you're being told you need a time of rest. Okay. And I feel that there will, there will be some sort of a birth or pregnancy. But it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be a birth of a child. It could be even that you have a birth of a puppy coming into your life. Do you see what I mean? But it's a birth of something, okay? And then you've got the emperor, okay, which is logic and organization, right? It, you will have to obviously do all that. And then the last card, which is, I always say is the outcome, it's brilliant, experience, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. Okay, and you, you're going to see the humor in a lot of things. Focus on career, divorced or unmarried individuals. Okay, you have been married before. I was right. You have been married before. Don't look at the past. Think of the future. Forget that past totally. Get that out of your head. Don't let it come back. Because this one is going to be fantastic for you. Yeah, look, you've got the hangman, which is an awakening. Enhance your own uniqueness. So, yeah, you are spiritually waking up. Spiritually, I feel that you are waking up. And look, take the next steps. Bold and ambitious choices. Right, and you will be with someone who shares your dreams. How's that for a reading? That is a beautiful reading, guys. Wow, I haven't done a beautiful reading like that in a long time. That is awesome. Congratulations to the happy couple, or couples. Because this might resonate with someone else as well. <clears throat> See if we can't get confirmation for you on these cards. Ah, oh, look. Nine of Cups straight away. Celebration. You've already had that, I believe. Is it not that one there? Yep. We've already had that one out. The lovers. <laughs> Swear, uh, you see me shuffle these, right? You know, you... you <laughs> It never ceases to amaze me. 
Okay, you've had to fight for what you want in life. You have had to. Okay, it's not been an easy road for you. Okay, here you've got the three of wands, and that's you looking out into the future, but also the past. <clears throat> okay, I, I'm not going to go into this card at the moment, because it can mean other things as well, which might be embarrassing, okay, but it can also mean... Let's just put it this way. Very good sex life. Let's just put it that way. Very good sex life. <laughs> People who know the cards should know what I'm talking about. Okay, then you've got the page of coins, which is, you know, you are. You're looking into the future for your finances and everything, and you're being told it'll be fine. You've got the eight of wands again, which is over there. The eight of wands, which is... Something coming into a hurry, and you are you're closing one door and open opening opening. Is that a new word? Opening, opening a new door, which is a new family life for yourself. How's that, guys? Wow. Spirit told me I had to do this reading. Seriously, I am not joking you. I was laying in bed, and that's all I kept getting was Daddy's little girl. Daddy's little girl. She's Daddy's little girl. You gotta tell her, Daddy's little girl. Daddy's little angel. Daddy's little girl. Right. Think of a question, and I'll see if I can answer it for you. Bob says, get more information. Remain positive. There you go, you to remain positive. And now let's do the manifesting. Okay, this is a manifesting card for Daddy's little angel, Daddy's little girl. This is a manifesting card for Daddy's little angel, Daddy's little girl. Daddy's little angel, Daddy's little girl. Remember... Either getting married soon, or you recently got married, and he, the daddy wants you t to know this. That he was walking with you, or will be walking down the aisle with you. So do not worry. He wouldn't miss it for the world. Right. Feeling... <coughs> Sorry. Feelings are powerful manifestors. Remember, <coughs> sorry, remember that worry attracts more worry, unhappiness attracts more unhappiness, fear attracts more fear, and remember that joy attracts more joy, happiness attracts more happiness, love attracts more love. So I feel you need to hear that. And you must remember that the more love you have, the more you're going to get. Okay? Remember that. Daddy's little girl. Daddy's little angel. Right. Hope that was good for you. Um, If it was, please leave it in the comments so I know. You know, I just, I'd be really interesting to know. It'd be really interesting. But... Enjoy. Enjoy this reading. This was meant for you. And it's going to bring you lots of joy and happiness. And congratulations. As always, everyone, stay truthful and be happy and have lots of love in your heart. As always, love and sparkles. Scooby-Doo.